I'm gonna show you how I painted the outside of our travel trailer and stick around to the end to see how it's held up so far. All right, so we'll start with me scraping off all of the old sealant from around the doors, windows, and other random fixtures on the outside of the camper. Now, this was a long, tedious process for me, but I suppose it'll vary just depending on the age and condition of your camper or RV. Some spots might just disintegrate or others might be really sticky and gooey like this was. So once that was done, I gave the entire camper a good wash. Now, I've seen people use a pressure washer for this, I just used a spray nozzle on our hose, sprayed it down, then used soap and warm water to scrub the entire exterior all the way around and then rinse the entire thing again. And this also took quite a bit of time. Then it was time to tape off all the windows, vents, and really anything that you don't want paint to get on or get into. You can do this with just one person, but it definitely helps to have two, especially when you're doing the big windows. All the prep work is done. Uh, I just did a couple test rounds with the paint sprayer that I got, and it is the greatest thing of all time. Um, we didn't use a paint sprayer for the rest of the painting inside, and I wish we would have. I wish I would have known about this one long ago. Let me show you. All right, so it's this guy, this Graco True Coat. It's airless, the 360DS. Um, it's a game changer. It's just a game changer. It already, look at the, the test. Well, I guess they're not really test. I did a little bit of paint here, and it covered so well with just one coat. So I'm gonna keep going, and I hope I can get one whole coat done tonight. It's like almost six o'clock. Moving right along, I used Sherwin-Williams Exterior Super Paint. Stick around uh, for the full review on that. Please don't laugh at my strange squat spraying technique. Uh, I think it worked. I started along the bottom with this up and down motion. I did have to refill the sprayer pretty often just because it's not very big, but it only takes like two minutes maybe to refill it. Once the bottom was done, I just did the same thing on the top half of the camera. been a few days since I did the first coat um, and then it rained like 36 hours after that but the paint said that it dries four to six hours but you should really give 24 hours before getting any moisture on it so I was like okay it'll be fine it was for the most part but this spot back here which is like sort of tucked away in the corner I don't know if it gets quite as much um, ventilation back here we had some bubbling issues right here there was some bubbling you can't see it now but it was really just random spots in this region i don't know what it is about this particular area we didn't have any problems on the other side or on the back of the camper um but moisture got in some spots so i sanded it off right there and did another coat over and we're hoping That'll be okay, but we will see. The rain is over for the time being, for the foreseeable future, and I'm gonna do the accent color on the bottom today. I wiped down the whole camper before doing the accent color just because the rain did leave some dirt on it. Uh, I just used a clean, dry cloth and some water if I needed to, so nothing too intense. Then I taped off a line about a third of the way up the camper. That brown paper above the tape is just to prevent any overspray from getting on the white. Things are not going great. Um, I've changed my clothes like five times today because it's hot. So I got all the taping and everything done. I just don't feel like this paint is sticking very well to the aluminum. It is made for aluminum siding. I followed all of the proper steps. Um, the only thing that I could think of that maybe I should have done is sand the entire camper, but I, for some reason, just didn't think it would be necessary. Um, I've seen a lot of people paint their RVs without sanding them, aluminum RVs without sanding them, so, but yeah, it's just not sticking 
great. There's still some spots where it's just coming off and we're a little worried that when we take all the tape off, we're gonna peel off a lot of paint. But I don't know, we're too far in now to stop. So gonna do a couple coats of the accent color and just cross our fingers and hope for the best. And if two months from now it looks terrible, at least we tried. Okay, love the accent color that we chose. This is also Sherwin-Williams Super Paint in the color Clay Pot. It shows up really orange on camera, but it's actually more of like a clay, red, brown, hence the name Clay Pot. One thing I noticed right away is this paint covers really well. And you can tell on camera from just one coat that I did here. And I'll show you the result of that in just a second. So here's just the one coat, still some white poking through, but really not much. I let that dry for a bit, then went in and did a second coat around the whole thing. Shout out to Cole for helping me record this little part. And I just left it at two coats. I did have enough paint for a third coat, but I didn't want to get carried away, so just did two. Okay, the paint's been drying overnight and now it's time to take the tape off. I have a feeling that we're gonna pull quite a bit of the white off in this process, just because we already have in a couple spots, but I'm just hoping it didn't bleed through too much. If you're not already using frog tape for paint projects, use it. There was no bleeding, our lines were super sharp and very little of the white actually peeled off when I took the tape off. I was pretty surprised, just a little bit around the corners, but it was way better than I was expecting after the whole rain debacle. I did end up doing some touch-ups around the doors and some of the other corners, just did that by hand before taking off the rest of the tape. And finally, I painted the door. I went through all the same cleaning steps, removed the little plastic window, and realized it's definitely been leaking because the styrofoam was really gross. So I let that dry out, painted the door white, just using a roller, and then resealed the window before putting it back on. All right, so here it is today. It's held up really well. It's been about a month since we finished painting the outside. It's rained multiple times since then we've driven this thing through storms um over a thousand miles at this point just in the past month so it's held up really well it is a durable paint even though we dealt with some issues with it in the beginning uh i think at this point i would say yes i recommend that type of paint that we used i just wish that we would have uh, given ourselves more of a dry window to get it all done i wouldn't trust this paint um getting wet in 24 or even 36 hours 48 hours after painting it i would want like a whole week so that would be my number one piece of advice but i do want to point out we are novices this is the first time i've ever done something like this uh there are plenty more people more experienced this was definitely a budget paint job but i'd give it maybe an eight out of ten so far 